Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I would like to welcome you back to my 2013 Year in Review. I had a really weird 2013, so instead of a top 10 list, I'm giving you a series of really weird awards. It's really just a top 10 list in disguise, but don't tell anyone else, alright? As with all lists, awards, or attempts to rank anything in any manner, this is completely subjective. If you don't see a game in one of these award categories that you think should be there, I probably didn't play it, or maybe I just hated it. Anyhow, without any further ado, let's get on to the award. Digital Storefront of the Year 2013 is gonna go down as the year of the digital storefront. Everybody opened a digital storefront this year. Humble probably made the biggest splash with their store, but other discount and bundle sites got in on the game too. You saw Indie Game Stand going from their three-day sales to a storefront, as well as Bundle Stars opening their own storefront. Now, I gave these Johnny-come-latelys their fair shot at best digital storefront, but as you know, I am cheap. So when selecting a storefront, it came down to best value for money. And in the year 2013, no digital storefront offered better value for money than GreenManGaming.com. First off, Green Man Gaming will often match or beat Steam's price. And on top of that, there's an almost constant 20 or 25% off voucher on the site that can be used on virtually any game. So that 30% off sale at Steam is topped by the price matched sale at Green Man with an additional 20% off. Some of the deals you can get on that site are absolutely insane. They redeem with Steam codes or DRM free versions, and even some games can be traded back in for credit. It doesn't matter what year it is, I never buy a game anymore without first checking the price on GreenManGaming.com, and that is why it is my digital storefront of the year for 2013. Now, while Green Man does take the overall category for its amazing prices, I have to mention another site that came along this year that really deserves your attention. It's itch.io or itch.io. I'm going to be honest and say I don't really know what the correct pronunciation is, but what I do know is that it's an amazing site. It takes a very small cut and allows indie developers to put their games up for a pay what you want price model. They can set the price at a specific level or set it at zero and see if you want to pay whatever you think the game is worth. They also host free games and it's a really encouraging thing to see a site that isn't necessarily interested in making money off of selling other people's games as much as they're interested in helping people sell their games. So a very honorable mention goes out to itch.io. Check it out if you haven't already. It is a great place to find games from up and coming indie developers. So there you go, my picks for best digital storefront in 2013. If I missed your favorite place to buy games online, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, hang around for more year in review silliness here on Big Dave is Cheap. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.